Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jason Fisher, and uh, today I'm bringing you another deck opening video, except this time I'm also going to have a spin on it with a bit of mail time. I got uh, some more cards in the mail, single cards, but uh, this time I got a uh, box, which is, I'm assuming is a deck. I'm assuming. Oops. Oh, jeez. What the heck? That's a little dumb. But uh, yeah, no, let's go ahead. Let's get a little bit of mail going. Uh, Shonen Jump, Trading Card Anime, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, it is, um, Rise of the True Dragons. If I can remember correctly, I think this one is actually brand new. Um, let me go, let's get the receipt out. Uh, it's actually not a receipt, it's just a shipping label. So I think, Rise of the True, True Dragons, I think that's actually brand new, if I can remember correctly. Oh, I dropped it. The first thing I did is I dropped it. Oh, yeah, 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 so if you notice, I got um, audio recording through here, not through my webcam. But, yeah, Rise of the True Dragons, let's see here. Oh, it doesn't seem to have any extra deck stuff, it's just uh, regular dragons. Uh, do. Herald of Creations, do. I wonder if there's any, like, if there'd be anything good in here. I'm uh, not seeing anything that I, that pops out of my head, but anyway, let's go ahead, let's open it up. Let's uh, get nice and gentle, nice and cozy with this. Uh, put, put up against the campfire. Ooh. Come on. There you go. Ooh. Nice. It's got a bunch of nice little goodies on the inside, making sure the box is empty. Let's put the box off to the side. Let's get this uh, official rule book. It's got the dragon on the cover. It's nice and warm. It's been sitting in my mailbox for a little bit. Apparently, uh, I checked my mail at 3 o'clock. Nothing's there. I go at 4.30, which I'm actually recording this like a couple minutes after I got it. And uh, apparently, yeah, no, it's... Uh, ooh, nice. There's actually a lot of uh, good cards on the back. Let me really quick... I'm going to get the, the flip side... I think this is like the first time I'm showing the flip side, but I was looking at a lot of the cool dragons on the back. That's actually pretty nice. I like that. And then uh, there's nothing else in the little plastic, so let's go ahead. I'm going to put this off to the side. i got to clean up my desk a little bit. My desk is just full of mess right now. And uh, I'm going to keep this off to the side so that way I can put cards inside there. And uh, let's get this bad boy open. Ooh! Arc Brave Dragon. Dragon effect, you can banish... It's, uh, it's level 7 with uh, 2400 to 2000 uh, spread. If I can just get this damn thing open. Let's see if I can't... Uh, go very gently with this. Oof. That's all I need to do is get a, get a, get a score open. Yet. They make these things so damn hard to open. And if I can also, again, if I can remember correctly, I think this, this deck is actually brand new. Ah, we're three, three and a half minutes in, and I haven't even gotten the bloody thing open. So I've been saying bloody a lot. If anybody thinks that I'm, that I'm English, I speak English, I just, I'm just not English English. The proper English. I'm American English, unfortunately. So let's see here. Oh no, I bent the corner just a little bit. Oh no. Nah, it's actually not even that noticeable. Dude, that thing is awesome. It's a hollow. Divine Dragon Lord Fe Felgrad. That's nice. That's a dragon effect again. Dragon of Creation. Dragon Knight of Creation, excuse me. It's actually pretty badass. All these are hollow. Ruins of the Divine Dragons. Another hollow. Dragon Lords, excuse me. That's actually pretty nice. I'm loving these hollows. Now we're on to the commons. Okay, cool. Return of the Dragon Lords. That's actually, actually pretty badass. A lot of these cards can actually um, run pretty nice with... Um, uh, whatchamacallit. I don't, I'm not seeing any tuners. Oh, dude, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, holy crap! Red Eyes Wavern, dude, oh, 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 okay, here, 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 okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself, I was just looking ahead, because I was looking to see if there's any tuners in here, so we got, 
what is this? Paladin of the F- of Felgrand. It's actually pretty cool. It's a warrior effect. It's actually pretty decent. Guardian of Felgrad. That's nice. Felgrad Dragon. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's, 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 it's decent stats, but uh, I would uh, I would buff up the attack a little bit, or even I mean it has same attack and same defense. Dark Blaze Dragon. This is what I was thinking was gonna be a uh, tuner, but it's not. Its level doesn't really match its stats. It's got a uh, 1,200 and 1,000 spread. That's the uh, for that kind of for that kind of monster. I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. Herald of Creation. Okay, it's a light level four monster. That's actually pretty cool. Um, Decoy Dragon, which again this kind of looks like it would be a tuner if you ask me. Just like little tiny monsters with like not that good of stats. Those are good tuners, right? Let's let's be honest here. And then we got Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, as I shown before. This is actually pretty badass. I love I love the the Red Eyes monsters. That's definitely going in my new uh, dragon deck. Red Eyes Wavern. It's a dragon effect. Uh, during your end phase, if you do not normal summon or set a monster, the turn. This turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard and summon one Red Eyes monster from your graveyard, except Red Eyes B Chick. So I'm assuming like Red Eyes, um, Red Eyes Retro Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Red Eyes Darkness Dragon, or just anything like that. Um, let's see here. We got White Knight Dragon, which is Knight with an N, which is actually pretty badass. It's a water, water dragon. Kind of looks like a Blue Eyes White Dragon if you were water. Dark Storm Dragon. It's a Gemini monster, which I'm not actually sure what that does. I'm not sure what the Geminis do. I have to look that up. Armored Protector Dragon. Uh, eh, not so decent stats, but a decent level, actually. It's, eh, I don't know, man. A lot of these cards look like they're not worth it. Apo- Eclipse Wavering. Ooh. Hold on a second. Evil Worn uh, Zorik. Zarek, or whatever it is. It's a level 4 dragon. 1850 with uh, 850 spread. It's actually not bad. Eclipse Waver, as I showed before. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, hey, White Dragon Wave Buster. I actually have one of these. I'm not sure actually how I got it. Huh. That's weird. Because I actually have one of these, and that's, this is before the deck. I, I don't know if the deck is actually brand new. I'll, I'll put it in the video description if it is or not. Black Dragon uh, Clap Serpent, which is actually pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. Keeper of the Shrine, ooh, nice. That's a four, a four star. It's a dragon effect. Uh, Kid Mundo Dragon, which again, this looks like it would be a nice tuner. It's a Earth Monster, 100, 200, level three. Again, it would make a perfect tuner if it was. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, like, I'm really big into tuners right now. Um. Quan, I think that's Juan or Gian Lights 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 Worn Paladin. Nice. Uh, do, 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 do. Aaron Lightstorm Monk. Nice. Right in Hand of the Light Hand of the Lights Worn. Actually pretty nice. Card Trooper. Oof. Again, this would make a nice little tuner. Oh, that'd be nice. My phone's going off again. I actually have one of these. Actually, the wing beat of a uh, wing beat of giant dragon. That's actually pretty nice. I actually have several of these. Dragon's ravine. Uh, to do once per turn, you can just discard one card and activate one of these effects. Add one level four or lower drag drag unity monster from your deck to your hand. Or send one dragon type monster from your deck to the graveyard, which I'm assuming that's for like graveyard effects. Oh, I didn't even show it, my bad. Trade in. I think I actually have one of these too. Discard one level eight monster and draw two cards. Yeah, I actually have one of these. That's actually pretty cool. Foolish burial. Nice. We got send one car one monster card from your deck to the graveyard, which I'm assuming. Again, because you, you like, I guess the current meta again is just get cards in the graveyard, get them back later. Hand destruction. Each player sends two cards from their hand to the graveyard, then draws two cards. This is kind of like a like a almost better version of uh, uh, card destruction. Oh, a lot of these cards are actually pretty common. I actually have I have 
three. Uh, I have a couple of the the last three spells. Oh wait, 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 wait! What? No way! It's a Dragon Lord token, dude. That's actually pretty badass. Look at this thing. Nice. It's a light level one. Did it do? If used for another token, that takes a type attribute. Okay, cool. That's actually pretty badass. I'm gonna put that off to the side for na- for right now. Reinforcement of the army. Again, I'm pretty sure I've shown this before. A warrior returning alive. I have a couple of these. That's actually pretty badass. This is the one that I don't have. Is a change of the light brigade. I get my phone's going off. I'm gonna check that in just a minute. Uh, terraforming, I have, I think, two of these, if I can't remember correctly. Dragon's Rebirth, that's a trap card, target one dragon you control, banish that target, and if you do special summon one dragon type monster from your hand or graveyard, that actually is pretty cool. Burst Breath, oof, that's nice, that sounds like something that, uh... Uh, like a zombie blue eyes monster would take. Uh, dude, I want to see a zombie blue eyes monster. Like, I want to see that. Whether it be like, like one of those like vanilla level four monsters, that would be freaking awesome. Needle bug nest. Send the top five cards to your deck to the graveyard, which I'm assuming is supposed to be again for just getting stuff in the graveyard. Breaking through. Wait, breaketh. Breakthrough skill. Okay, breakthrough skill. I don't know why. It's... Call of the Haunted. I think everybody has like 50 of these cards. I'm pretty sure I got like 10 myself. Next up, but not probably last, Osiris of Dragon Souls. We're at 11 minutes, almost 12. Activate this card by targeting one monster in your graveyard. Special summon in defense position. It becomes a worm monster. Or worm type, excuse me. Uh, when this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. When that monster leaves the field, destroy this card. So, I mean, I guess... Uh, technically, you could just use this as, like, um... I mean, it's a continuous trap, so I'm assuming you can just keep using it over and over and over again. And then using it as, like, um... I guess, uh... What would it be? Like, for tributes and stuff? Like, if you want to tribute a bunch of, uh... Just random worms? That'd actually be kind of cool. Next but not least, um, we got our little bit of mail. I'm not going to go ahead and show my address because uh, I don't want to. I don't have to mess with the editing. I really don't. Ooh, I probably ripped up the. There was a letter in here. I didn't even know. And there's no writing on here. Cool. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to ruin that. Oh, it's probably the receipt. Oh, that's nice. Okay, nothing else in here. Do do do. I'm gonna be sure not to show my address on screen. It's got my name. Ooh. Oh, nice. Actually, I did order these uh, a little while ago. I got three advanced ritual arts, which is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and let's open this up. Be the last thing that I open today, especially on camera. Um. Or until I get more mail. Again, more more and more of my packages Jesus Christ, are coming like super early. Like I think the first package that I was expecting wasn't even due until the twelfth and I got it like a few days ago. So and tomorrow is the twelfth, by the way. So it's just it's super weird like how this is working right now. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Oof, I feel like there's more than three cards in here. No, there's just the three I can see. Advanced Ritual Arts. And we got three of them. Nice. This is something that I wanted to add to my deck because um, instead of having like a designated um, ritual, I mean, I feel like select one ritual monster in your hand, send that monster, send normal monsters from the from your deck to the graveyard whose levels... Okay, cool. So I have to have the ritual monster in my hand. I thought for the longest time that rituals had to be like in your extra deck. But I guess with Advanced Ritual Art, I guess you have to have them in your deck. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, so look, let's look at... Let's, look at, um, let's put the, the token back on top. Jeez, that's a lot for me to add to my... Um, that's a lot for me to add to my binder. I got a lot of stuff I need to add to my binder, and I think... Uh, that's going to be a daunting task, so if you guys enjoyed today's video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and get up on out of here. I still got a ton more coming in the mail. I'm going to record them for you, and I'm going to put them up on uh, our YouTubes. And uh, I guess we'll see you next time. Peace out, guys. Give the peace sign. Woo!